What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, I got an exciting unboxing to dig into for you. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push the video out there so more people have a chance to check it out. Let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you have in for your EDC. Big thank you to Kaiser for sending this in. I believe this will be out of their new lineup coming uh, for either late July or early August. And I'm pretty sure they have some new packaging here, uh, skinnier boxes. I actually like this. They're, uh, they, they shrank the plastic insert down and then shrank the box down so it's nice and skinny. They used to be quite a bit thicker. For anyone who cares, we're looking at the Kaiser Infinity. I meant about the, the packaging. Some people some people care, right? Let me know if you care. Uh, microfiber cloth, a couple of stickers, extra hardware. <clears throat> very nice unpackaging and very necessary stuff. The cloth is nice. Hardware is nice. And here we have our knife. So one thing is for certain... Uh, this is an Azo design, the Infinity here, and he has had a bunch of knives over the last like two to three months come out, and they've all. Some of them have been just re remakes, you know, in upgraded materials, which is awesome. Uh, that's a great way to reinvent an older knife that is still awesome that still you know is functional today and that's kind of what's going on with some but then he's also got some completely new models out uh and this is just kind of a a great little edc knife now i have actually never got to handle this knife um it's really reminiscent or at least it feels reminiscent to well maybe it's not i was going to say the assassin um, it, it kind of reminds me of that, but I could be wrong. I know it's a little more upswept on the top there, but what are we looking at for steel nitro V got that shinier PVD coating on it, but it looks a little, for some reason, it looks a little different than normal, almost like it has more of a texture to it than it's got the same sheen, but it's got a little bit different texture to it. I wonder if that's kind of a new updated coating. And then we're looking at this kind of twill carbon fiber insert slash laminate over G10 is what it looks like. Yeah. And then we have a steel housing, steel handle, and their deep carry steel rollover clip, which always works well. And it's going to be reversible there. A couple of standoffs. So this is going to be a very affordable option. Like 50, 60 bucks I'm going to guess. Just based off the Nitro V and the handle materials. I'm going to guess this is definitely going to be in their more affordable line. But that doesn't mean that it's not a really solid knife from Kaiser. They do... An awesome job all the way around. Get our issuing stitches hank here and see what this looks like in the pocket. It's going to carry like Kaiser's standard pocket clips always do. They pretty much bury the knife in the pocket and going to be very unnoticeable. We're almost down to, this is the second to last sheet. So this is basically... There's a little flat here, but it ends. This is like a full flat grind. So this is nice and tall. This should be a great cutter. A great slicer. With the right, you know, edge. But, whew. Yeah, Kaiser's got... When it's gliding through the paper and you can see the paper kind of just floating. <laughs> I 
You guys got to remind me to stop. Sometimes I get going and then I, I can't stop. Uh, yeah, it's got a great edge on it. It's going to carry well. Like I said, this is not this one is not a new design. It is a new version. Um, great access to the liner there. No chamfer, no jimping, um, but not the end of the world. Still very easy to access and very easy to disengage. We are perfectly centered up there. And there's no detent lash. Very good poppy detent, which is good for that flipper tab. Do we have any pivot lashing or any movement there? Nope. Soft open. There's no up and down. And there's no side to side. And you might wonder why I do that. That soft open opposed to really flailing it out means, you know, if you were to accidentally open it kind of soft-handed, if you will, um, is it still going to lock out properly and seem to hold up? That's why I'll test it maybe both ways, and I always check it on a soft open to see, you know, that's just letting the blade very softly come out. That's a good way to check your lock up there as well. So we are good in all situations. No detent or pivot lash, and lockup seems nice and sturdy, which means we can move on. And the old Kaiser Infinity here can meet the spine whacker for the first time. Uh, we are looking at about 40% lockup. It's going to be hard to tell right now. We're getting rain, and it's playing with with the lighting in here, but it's about 40% if you can't make that out. So we'll do a full open here and see what happens. Good. 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 Soft open. Good. Very good. Action on this is, it's snappy. That detent is perfect. And then kind of a, it'll break in, but kind of a two shake maybe. Two decent shakes, but it's nice and smooth. It's clean. It's controlled. They've really... Kaiser used to have that real crazy drop shot action, the, the crazy closing action where it guillotines down. Now, sometimes, you know, that's inevitable, but there's been companies and designers out there who have even gotten heavier blades to be under control on the close, uh, and that's impressive. This is how I, I want my closing action just... Drop down 50% and then, you know, one or two light shakes. That's what I want to see. Uh, real nice. Real nice. If you're wondering about, you could reverse flick it uh, down low. Up high, it's going to be impossible because that detent is so strong. But down around half, you can, well... You can get it maybe a little lower. It's got a pretty stout detent. Uh, thumb flick out from that chamfered area. If if you're not all sweaty or bloody or anything like that and you practice, you'll be able to get into it. You kind of dig into where that flattens off. So flipper for sure, obviously. And then I would say depending on the person, you can reverse and thumb flick this, but uh, definitely more of a, a light switch push button. The push button works good. It's got a nice curved tail on it, and it protrudes just enough so you can get that nice light switch. Nice push button. 
and they're using fine jimping on that flipper. Really grabby. So that just, Kaiser, that's one reason why Kaiser is so successful. If you're new or you just don't know why Kaiser is so successful, number one, they listen to their consumers and they, they listen to the knife community, which is in part their consumers, but they listen to people who buy their knives. And then they turn around, they put that stuff, you know, or reviewers, they put that stuff into action and every little thing starts to add up. You know, it's the little small things that start making even inexpensive knives really good. Running jimping out further, that's been a huge thing. A lot of companies used to stop it here. I'd like to see it even further, but they are trying. They are you know, starting to extend stuff. If this knife had a chamfer or some jimping on the liner, which, again, it doesn't need, but it would just be a nice to have. Uh, other than that, they nailed this thing. Fine jimping on the flipper. Really well done on the fit and finish and the action. I'm sure they'll have other versions of this. Nice sharpening choil. Just really well done. That's why Kaiser is so, uh, that's why they're so popular. They listen and they back it up with the materials they use, the build quality, and good customer service. That's, uh, that's going to be hard to beat. You guys will have to let me know what do you think of the Infinity, the new Infinity. Love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Always appreciate it, everyone. It really helps push the videos out there so more people have a chance to check them out. If you're new here, we release videos just like this one every single day. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out for me. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for being here. Appreciate you. I will catch you on the next one.